Hello, I'm Jared. Good day, my name is Alexander Manuel Civilar and I'm here, we're here to talk about the uh, mental health awareness. So first off, mental health awareness uh, means that we're not uh, acknowledging the mental health uh, that is important, but we're talking about putting out there so that people who feel uh, too much and uh, they need help too. So that, that's the purpose of a mental health awareness. Hello, my name is Nathan James Sigoy. Mental health awareness is important because it can help you to understand your symptoms, find professional treatment, and perhaps most importantly, break the mental health stigma that leaves so many people suffering in secret. Hello, I'm Ivy Marie Dino, so we're here to discuss a mental health awareness. Mental health awareness increases the chance for early inter intervention, which can result in a fast recovery so awareness reduce negative adjective that have been said to describe our people with a mental illness so by raising awareness mental health can now be seen as an illness this illness can be managed by treatment hello i'm jerry Roy labrado why do we care about mental health if you may ask it is because, as with your overall health, mental health influences how you function from day to day. This is why it is so important to care about mental health. If you do not, do not take care of your mental health, you could find it challenging to work, build healthy relationships, and even leave home. Hello, Nathaniel Paul Gomez here. Today, me and my group will be talking about mental health awareness to all the people who are dealing with stress, especially to students for this new normal setup. Over the past two decades, uh, suicide rates have risen, particularly among young adults, and, uh, and the COVID pandemic has uh, accelerated that already dire, in a dire crisis. So some people already adapted the new normal setup, but not many people who adapted easily. Those who have not adapted easily are those people who easily get depressed, anxiety, and stress. Mm, based on the research, Students are most likely to get these symptoms because of the pandemic. Many universities or colleges switched to the online delivery of lessons. Many instructors, however, have found developing practical online classes in a brief period of time very stressful and challenging. We will be giving you some tips on how to deal stress for this new normal setup. So uh, first is stay social. Uh, online colleges and universities make it easy to immerse yourself in your education. So so much that you may forget or put off keeping in touch with family and friends. So be sure not to isolate yourself when pursuing your degree online. Uh, staying social, even just making a phone call is one of the easiest stress management techniques to incorporate into your day. Get enough sleep. Reaching yourself how to manage stress begins with something simple, getting enough sleep. A good night's sleep is critical not only for online learning success, but for keeping your stress level manageable. The National Sleep Foundation recommends 7 to 9 hours of sleep for both young adults 18 to 25 and adults 26 to 64. Find the amount that's right for you and then try to stick with it. Exercise. Exercise may not be always easily fit into your schedule, regardless of whether you're earning your degree online or just overly busy, but it is a time tested way to manage your stress for a reason. It works even a brisk 10 minutes walk can boost inner pain your body feels good. New transmitters improve your mood and more. It is a stress management technique that not only good for your online education, it is good for your for your body and mind as well. Eat well. Another simple stress manage management tip: eat well. While it's tempting to treat yourself to high fat, sugary, or comfort foods, shall we say? 
These foods actually increase your energy and your academic performance. Feed your online education with healthy, high-fiber foods including fruits, vegetables and protein, and whole grains. Your body and your GPA will thank you. Definitely. Get organized between academics and everyday commitments. You're going to be busy while earning your degree online. I can't lose stress management technique for busy students is to get organized and stay organized. Keep your, keep your desk neat, create folders in your computer, map out your quarter or semester, and set reminders for important dates. Once you get organized, you'll feel stress levels go down immediately. Manage your time wisely, from getting up early and prioritizing tasks to avoid distractions and setting goals. Managing your time wisely will give you the structure you need to tackle both your academic and personal to-do list while learning online. So it's a stress management tip that takes some time to master, but uh, that one will improve many aspects of your life for years to come. Get help if you need it. When you're feeling stressed, there's nothing like talking to a professional to help you feel better, mentally and physically. Many online colleges and universities are equipped with advisors and coaches who help students handle their pressures of earning their online degrees. Seeking help from a counselor or therapist can help as well. <clears throat> from coping mechanisms to stress management worksheets, the right experts will equip you with tools you need to effectively, effectively manage stress. Take breaks, managing stress as you pursue your online education can often be as simple as taking a break, sitting in one spot for hours or and as you learn online isn't good for your mind or your body, stand up and stretch, go for a walk, then call a friend and meet for a coffee, taking a break doesn't have to be complicated in divorce then it's an easy effective way to manage stress that like exercise will give your mood a boost check in with yourself the stress you can feel when pursuing any kind of higher education can creep up on you trouble sleeping a rapid heartbeat depression poor concentration and many Symptoms of stress can all increase. Take a moment to regularly check in with yourself to gauge how you're feeling physically and mentally. Then incorporate the stress management techniques that work best for you. I hope these tips can help you deal and cope up with stress. I know this year has been tough for us, but we should never give up because greater days will come ahead. Thank you for joining to our mental health awareness. Stay safe.